Hey, welcome back to Comic Crow, everybody. Uh, so kind of a follow up to the video we did yesterday talking about how uh, Kevin McCarthy is uh, being evicted uh, from the speaker suite, or at least they're attempting to, uh, because he failed to. Uh, he, he wasn't even the first vote. He was the second vote uh, total um, after after three rounds of voting. And well, today. It happened again. They did another three rounds of voting and Kevin McCarthy actually lost votes. Um, but, uh, you know, the day before they had uh, nominated a man known as uh, Jim Jordan. Uh, Jim Jordan apparently does not want to be Speaker of the House. He wants to he wants to run the Judiciary Committee or, or whatever. Um, so they instead nominated a man known as uh, Byron Donalds. And and wouldn't you know it, Byron Donalds. He is a black man. So. So I, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't really care because he's not McCarthy. So he's automatically better. <laughs> I've listened to a couple of things the man has to say. I, I, I haven't dug into his entire history, but to, to be clear, I, I would I would rather take somebody that's that's completely separated from establishment politics who's only been in congress for for one term i would rather have that person be leader versus somebody who is just like so ingrained in what in in all of the corruption that goes on on a daily basis there so so definitely not mccarthy but but because he is a black conservative um well well uh, that that means you can just be overtly racist to the guy, right? And, and I, look, this is Cori Bush. This is a sitting congresswoman. Um, uh, Byron Donalds is not a historic candidate for speaker. He is a prop. Despite being black, he supports a policy agenda intent on upholding and perpetuating white supremacy. His name being in the mix is not progress. It's pathetic. I, I think it's funny, right? I think it is because... Um, look, we, we all know this for a fact, right? Uh, because I, I remember, uh, not, not recently, I want to say this was maybe a, a few years ago, maybe a little bit further back than that. Uh, you would have some conservatives, uh, uh, go out and say that, oh, you need, you need to get off the plantation, right? Referring to black people in the democratic party and, and the Democrats were outraged. That was racist. You can't say shit like that. Right. That's that's completely wrong. But they have they, they have literally zero issues being overtly fucking racist towards uh, minorities that are conservatives. They, they it's the same thing with uh, uh, female conservatives. Um, you know, Amy Coney Barrett up in uh, uh, up in the Supreme Court. Right. Uh, uh, who's it? The Marjorie Taylor Greene, the Lauren, the Lauren Boebert lady. Right. I think she's a bit of a ditz. Right. But like they, they tried to claim that she was an OnlyFans cam whore, right? And I'm sitting there going, wow, fucking wow. Right? Like that that's that's actually nuts. That that they that they openly and overtly go in those directions when it comes to criticizing uh, uh conservatives, right? They're they're overtly sexist, they're overtly racist, and then if 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 you point it out, their response is just well, you're supporting white supremacy. I don't have to listen to what you say. Um, but but look, again, I don't know the Byron Donalds guy at all really other than what i've been able to look up in in just like you know the day that they had nominated him because again he's a one-term congressman but but like man I, at this point i would take a fucking crack addict off the fucking street instead of kevin fucking mccarthy right uh and, and you can actually see it here right like kevin mccarthy if you go through it there, there's nobody who supports him. All of the top posts are literally just ripping on the guy, making fun of him. And here's one talking about Byron Donalds. You know, people don't want McCarthy that, that are Republicans or conservatives. He has like an approval rating that is like 20% plus or minus. I, 
with with within the Republican Party, mind you, not nationwide. The man is deeply fucking hated. So look, I, I personally don't care if it's Kevin McCarthy or or if it's the Gates guy or if it's Jim Jordan or but like I I I do not care at this point. It just cannot be somebody like McCarthy or his ilk. But also. I saw how he chose to respond to like an overtly racist attack against him, essentially calling him a token, right? He, he's the token black for the conservatives, everybody. I, <laughs> Byron Donalds goes, uh, nobody asked Cory Bush her opinion on the matter. Before you judge my agenda, let's have a debate over the policies and the outcomes. Until then, don't be a crab in a barrel. Um, yeah. That, that's that's actually a classy way of responding to somebody who goes for an attack like that against you. Um, and, and I'll be clear, if 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 if, if people are going to throw out and play race cards and everything, I, I, I 100 percent think that you put Byron Donalds as Speaker of the House because it means he will be talking a lot. And every single time he opens his mouth, it will trigger infants and infantilized adults like Cory Bush into racist tirades against him. And I think the more people see shit like this going on, the better it is for everybody. It should be open, it should be out in the public. People should see on the record that you do not stand by a single damn thing that you say, right? You really don't. If it's a black man that disagrees with you, well, then he's trash too. Pull his, pull, pull his black card. Call him an Uncle Tom. Call him worse, right? That, that's the game here. If it's a woman and she's a conservative, uh, uh, tell, tell her she's internalized uh, uh, misogyny and is supporting white supremacy and she's voting against her own self-interest. And, and, and then why not just call her a slut or a whore? Right? Like, like they did with the Bobert bitch. Yeah, man. Yeah. If, if, if I had to say that there is one reason be, beyond the fact that I think the guy will actually be able to put up a solid fight and, and will not obstruct what, what I think the majority of Republican voters actually want to see happen, it, it, it's purely for the fact that if it's going to be any conservative in leadership, that is a minority, they will not be able to stop themselves. They will not be able to help themselves. They hate every single Republican. They hate them overtly. In their eyes, you're racist, domestic terrorists who, who want to burn and rape and murder all minorities or, 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 or rob them first and then do all the other things. So, so when you have somebody that is a minority, that is a conservative, that, that sits in a high position of power or leadership, believe me, they will not be able to stop themselves. In fact, Byron Donalds responded in a classy way, right? I'll ignore the shit stains, but I want you to see this, this one person that I, I thought was just incredible. She doesn't need to be asked. She is a member of Congress, and we are indeed interested in her opinion on the matter. Oh, okay. Okay. She's also dead correct on this. You are being used and exploited, and you seem to thrive on that. Welcome it. Depend on it. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Um, if, if, if that's what you think... OK, there is only two reasons to think that either a you, you think that he is a grifter who's who's selling out his own kind for money and power and wealth, in which case I would just say just go be a Democrat because he'd get further. Right. Because the, the Republicans are the party of white supremacy. Why the fuck would they have a, 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 a black person in charge of any of them? Right. Seriously, why? But but. Oh, but but then there's the other thing in which you just say that they lack all agency. They're too stupid to understand what they're saying. 
it, it's it's either one or the other and both are completely disrespectful both treat these people like garbage like trash and and i think that if anyone should become speaker of the house it should probably be somebody who looks at an overtly racist attack on him and responds to it in a very classy and professional manner. I, I think that that's way better than than this this uh, the this shit stain of a human being who who cannot muster any actual support without making little pissant threats.